Sports Mornings. It's almost 7 o'clock here in New York City. I'm Anne Marie Green. And here's a look at some of the stories grabbing our attention right now. President Biden urging unity in eastern Ukraine. And back here at home, we're going to have all the highlights from his first State of the Union address. Well, Russia has intensified its devastating assault on Ukrainian cities. Charlie Daggett is there in Kyiv with more on how Moscow's latest missile attacks and ground game is going. Results are in for the first primaries of the year. In Texas, we're going to tell you how Governor Greg Abbott cruised to an easy victory, only to face much tougher competition, though, in November. And the U.S. and E.U. are now targeting Russia's elite by going after their luxurious yachts and apartments. Our Money Watch team dives into the financial war against Putin's closest allies and Moscow's richest oligarchs. We are also taking a closer look at America's child care crisis that is keeping many women out of the workforce. Everyone is so burnt out. Everyone is so frustrated. Do you feel as though you're letting these people down? And that's hard. Scary. Well, coming up later in the show, we're going to tell you why many child care facilities are closing their doors and how this major shift is impacting women, the economy, and children. But before all of that, new clashes and missile attacks are underway across some of Ukraine's biggest cities as Russia closes in. This comes as President Biden urges a united resistance against Moscow. He addressed the crisis in Eastern Europe 